my mother's out there and also to my dad's, man. Look at this. Celebrity artist Lizzo celebrates women who wear size 18 and up. We are sex symbols. Any type of person who's an alum night, an alum light, <laughs> excuse me, any person who's popular, famous, so forth and so on, are handlers. MK Ultra, Mind Control, did a lot of stuff in private to get up to those status, and now they're pushing a narrative to make our daughters believe that they have to be a sex symbol. Word? Really? I get it about us being comfortable in our body and our skin because God gave us our body, and really, it's not our own. We were bought with a price through Christ. But we should be confident in ourselves. But, yo, really? Sex symbols for our daughters? Nah, man. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. This is something that was on Yahoo and it popped up. And I'm like, what? Gotta make a quick video. So she on Instagram bragging about Appreciation Plus Size Day or whatever. And then all this thing here about in inclusivity, blah, blah, blah. And then, this is what she said, we won't stop until we there, then, till then, shake your belly, love handles, and jiggly thighs, love your double chin, and wear them bikinis because you a bad B. Word? Nah, homie. My daughters ain't no bad B. I need my daughters to be godly, raised up in the instruction of the Lord. So here's some scripture I want to combat that crap with real quick. This is 1 Timothy 3, verse 11. Women must likewise be worthy of respect, not malicious gossips, but self-control thoroughly, trustworthy in all things. Huh. Talk about being a bad bee, huh? Get out of here. All right. This here is Titus 2, verses 3 through 5. Older women are to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossips, nor addicted to much wine. Teaching is right and good so that they may encourage the young women to tenderly love their husbands and their children, to be sensible, pure, makers of their makers of a home where God is honored, good-natured, being sub subject to their own husbands so that the word of God will not be dishonored. Man, you see this crap with sex symbols? Sex symbols is talking about that you're a piece of meat. It's okay to be layered with different men. It's okay for a guy to come around and not be serious about marriage. It's okay to be led astray and led along for years and years for some bozo, some grown behind boy who can shave that never want to step up to the plate and finally willing to exchange vows under God and in front of your, both of your families to make it sure it's right. It's false and it's wrong. Here's the last scripture, Marie. This is 1 Peter 3, verse 1 through 4, Marie. In the same way, you wives, be submissive to your own husbands, subordinate, not as inferior, but as but out of respect for the responsibilities entrusted to husbands and their accountability to God. So partnering with them. So that even if some who do not obey the word of God, they may be won over to Christ without discussion by the godly lives of their wives. When they see your modest and respectful behavior together with your devotion and appreciation, love your husband, encourage him, and enjoy him as a blessing from God, your adornment must not be merely external, not merely external, with interweaving and elaborate knitting of the hair and wearing gold jewelry or being superficially preoccupied by dressing in expensive clothes. Like what these handlers do, these MK Ultra people do, these artists and celebrities and whoever, they just props put up there to lead kids astray by the enemy of our souls. Let me get back to verse four. Make sure my screen, my screen is clear. There we go. But let it be the inner beauty of the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality and unfading charm of a gentle and peaceful spirit, 
one that is calm and self-controlled, not over anxious, but serene and spiritually mature, which is very precious in the sight of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for you putting your word out there. The greatest rights that ever happened to women on this planet was through Jesus Christ. Take heed and hold that, women. Celebrate Christ Jesus. If you and Jesus, make sure we are bringing up our daughters rightly in his word. Telling our daughters that they are valued, they are loved, that they are cared for by our Lord Jesus Christ. Both of us, moms and dads. This is not just for men. This is for, this is for moms too. We can't have these satanic people these musicians who are lost in a secular realm educate our kids to tell them what they need to be doing. We can't. So make sure you check in the music you, you bumping in your ears, what movies you watching. We got to protect our ear and our eye gates. Seriously, folks. Christ is always watching. Let's be faithful to the Lord. We'll talk again, Lord willing. Later.